Coming up on This Is True Really News, a guy who's had his house shot up several times. If you like stories of people's houses being shot up... Several times. Yeah. uh, Please like, subscribe, and follow This Is True Really News. Or watch any Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right. These are your only option. Well, no, you know, Sylvester Stallone movies would work. We're looking for Bruce big, Willis. We're looking to bigen up our audience uh for <laughs> humor. We're looking to embiggen our audience. Oh, there we go. I like that when you know the the right. We're going to we want a larger size. That's it. Bigenist? Oh, that's something different. Yeah. That's what Paul Bunyan got in trouble for. <laughs> This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. So 33-year-old designer, I don't know how this is going to work. Okay. We're just going to read it. By we, I mean me. Mm -hmm. Amanda Booth is a 33-year-old designer in Toronto. She has a business making jewelry aptly named Trinkets by Amanda. Oh. Now, this comes from Adi, so you, just, you know that's not the rest of the story. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Paul uh, Harvey. Here's the rest of the of story. story. He was so good. Oh, Her first pieces were made of clay, but what, then a friend contacted her and asked her if she could maybe make a jewelry set from her son's ashes. This is the point where you go, wait, what? Booth has never said no to a friend. And the set inspired other customers. One who asked if she could use breast milk to make jewelry. She posted about the jewelry on TikTok. I don't know what the TikTok is, but apparently it's all over now. The ticky talkie It's Chinese yeah. invention. And it got on TikTok and business just exploded including orders for items made with umbilical cords, hair, placenta, you know, pretty much anything. But the creme de la creme came when when people started requesting jewelry made from man juice. Booth transforms the liquids to powder, mixes them with clay, and then sculpts the jewelry piece. Booth said, hey, I'm an open-minded artist. You know, for, for a hot minute there at the beginning of the story, I was thinking, yeah. well, what a kind thing to do for a friend. What a sweet idea. Yeah. And, and then uh, it degenerated quickly, as things often do here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, I, frankly, I think I like that. That's <laughs> why we're here. This one's from Reason.com. It's a website I read pretty regularly. Shots. This is from Brickbat at Reason.com, just so you know. Shots have been fired into Michael Gill's Milwaukee home Twice this year. Milwaukee? Yeah, right? Noted gang capital of Wisconsin? (laughs) Both times. There should be no gang activity in Wisconsin after the end of October because it's getting cold. Well, that and everybody's in Chicago. Um, And it's not that far south. That's true. Both times he reported the shootings to police. Now, Maybe so- they just came up for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a vacation. Shoot up our house, go home. <laughs> so far, they haven't solved those crimes. But Gill did get a letter from the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office saying, if it happened again, the house could be declared a nuisance and Gill fined. You're kidding me, right? No. No, and they were persistent. Finally, Gill contacted a local TV station. The TV station contacted the district attorney on Gill's behalf. Now a source within the office acknowledged that Gill and his wife were innocent victims and should never have been sent that letter. (laughs) Assistant district attorney called the couple to apologize. Uh, I'm sorry, I wouldn't take it from the assistant district attorney. Mm Mm-mm. I want it from their freaking IT guy. I want the entire freaking attorney's office. That's right. Everybody up from the janitor. And they all have to do it. I want in, them on their knees begging forgiveness. In holiday-themed costumes. In public. Yes. With cameras. Well, everybody's got cameras now. So. And wearing chaps. Now you just went stupid on me. And carrying a riding crop. Here we go. Suddenly, we're the village people. 
They're a, they were kind of a band thing. Look yeah. it up. It's your turn. It would be. Mm-hmm. So remember I was talking about Ghost, the BBC version? Yes. And there's Ghost, the CBS version? Yes. Linda Hill is the owner of a rental home in Gainesville, Texas, and she has, guess what? The TV that can play either of the shows. And ghosts, according to Fox News. Oh, she does have ghosts. Many ghosts. Okay. She said, we've got kids, we've got old people, old guys, and hookers. Oddly enough, the hookers are the most common visitors known to stroke a male renter's face or arm. They're trying to stir up business, she says. But they can't figure out a way to conclude the transaction, so nothing ever happens. <laughs> and, and it's not like a guy who's having this fantasy won't go, hmm, we got to work this out. And now you know where the ghost of a chance line ever came from. <laughs> All the way yeah. to that. Yikes. Finally, at the Christmas party, a girl flashed in the party photo booth. Yeah. Not really realizing all the photos would be automatically put up on Facebook. Merry Christmas. I kissed my coworker behind the conference stage, not realizing it was being projected on the big screen. Which reminds me of men in tights. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> we're men, women in tights. We roam around the forest looking for fights. Woo, ha! <laughs> And finally, Besides, I'm the only Robin Hood with a real English accent. <laughs> Lend me your ears. <laughs> Pop. Zunk. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, Mel Brooks. Uh, we missed thee. They canceled our bonus. But we were all given defective copies of Elf on DVD. That helps. See that? Okay, I have, I have one question. Shoot. How do you know it's a de- defective copy of Elf? I'm guessing people tried to play them, and when they checked with each other, they all found out none of them worked. Oh, I was afraid it actually played. No, <laughs> that would be defective. Yeah. You? Oh, baby. This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.